Minute Man. This is our brand new debut, debut show. I'm here with CT Squid. How you guys doing? And CT Dougie. Yo, 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 yo. Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> not the uh, anymore. Yeah, he's not the Fonz, apparently. Guess. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. Haven't seen you in a while, CT Ducky. Been busy. Indeed. Busy, Holiday busy. Season. Holiday yeah. season is crazy. I don't know. I actually thought Ducky died. Yeah, I did too. I thought he flew south for the winter. Actually, inside a little bit. Oh yeah, why? Yeah, zero sleep. Oh yeah, it oh, happens. Yes, it breaks a man down. It does break a man down. <clears throat> so we're getting started here today. Did you guys hear about the Diamondbacks suing Maricopa County? <laughs> I did, and I actually thought that was a good idea. Why? Because Why do you think a good idea? that stadium has been there for the past 20 years. They've barely done too many renovations on this place. It's a state-of-the-art stadium, though. But after year after year after year, yeah, I get they, that. They, they but need to make certain upgrades to keep it fresh and. I, I guess that I understand that, but you know, here here's what I think though is like right now, what what's the fucking Diamondbacks record? Exactly. Uh, like I said, exactly. it's a pretty shitty years, and I, I think that's a part of... It's been a long time since they've even done anything. I mean, that's why I think it just kind of falls on deaf ears for them at this point in time, on the whole building a new stadium. I don't know, back in 2001, that one World Series. Well, I haven't heard about it. You haven't heard about that? Negative. Basically, the uh, Diamondbacks are suing Maricopa County because they want... Um, they're not asking for taxpayer dollars, apparently. <laughs> They're apparently just asking to do new renovations on the field. Yeah. Apparently, that's what they're asking. But there are no tax dollars. Even though, even though there was an independent uh, company that did say they were going to invest in um, the ballpark, but they, they never even called that company back at all. Yeah. Really? So, you know, one of the things, too, about, I, I think, I'm pretty sure about this deal, is they wanted to have their own... Uh, I'm not sure if it's the stadium now or if the, the people in question who were trying to buy it, they wanted to make sure that they were going to get the, the proceeds to any concerts done in Bank One because, you know, that doesn't go to Bank One itself. Yeah, it doesn't it go to the state. It goes yeah. to the company that owns Bank One. It does. Yeah. Or Bank One. That's how, that's how you know you're an Arizonian and when you still call that fucking stadium Bank One. I know. I mean, it'll always be Bank One. It'll always be Bank One to me, personally. Did you ever get the, what do you think? Have you ever been to uh, the stadium? Ducky. I have been to the stadium. I I think uh, I think the Raiders stadium is a lot worse. Oh yeah, the, the Raiders Raider stadium is definitely worse. Raiders. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to live there. I, I know it's 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 awful stadium. It's like a it's like a high school stadium. Indeed. I think they've just gotten used to it so much going in because I mean they had a shitty season after shitty season. They just said, "Well, yeah, they're out of the they, they, they didn't have a shitty season this year. Thank yeah, you very much." Well, yes, I will say the Raiders. Had a surprising year this year. They had a great season. Well, I, I kind of would like to see them make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I would too. But since Derek Carr is mm, injured, not gonna happen. Oh fuck you! Seriously, <laughs> that's just the worst thing to say. Fuck you! Happen. Yeah, fuck you. The worst <laughs> thing comes to it. They have um, what the Cardinals had. When the Carson Palmer got injured. I don't even want to talk about the Cardinals right now. They piss me off like none other. That the team. One of the Cardinals uh, got, uh, what's it called? He fell asleep at the wheel. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, I heard about that. Floyd. Yeah. Oh, was it? And then the yeah. fucking Patriots picked him up. Oh, Isn't yeah. that right? And the Patriots fucking signed him. Three days after. Uh, Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After yeah. The, the Cardinals released him, I think it was maybe a day later, the Patriots picked him up right away. He cleared waivers. He said, all right, we're going to take you. In the last two games that um, he played, he got, like, one or two touchdowns. Yeah, well, that's how he's on it for you, man. We always do that shit with people, man. We always try to bring up, we always bring up really good players and let them go. Look at the fucking Phoenix Suns, man. Look at all the all-stars the Suns have let go. I think there was ever a, a coop that needs to be done in Arizona that needs to be done on the freaking people that own the Suns, man. This is a bad decision, bad after bad decision, man. Oh, and rebuilding, 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 rebuilding. I mean, we used to be the most dominant, one of the most dominant teams in the West, man. Now we're. Just, we're I mean, Devin Booker. Broke. Don't get me wrong. Devin Booker is fucking amazing. That man is scoring 19 points per game. I don't know if you heard, you guys have heard of him or heard about this, but he is 
tearing it fucking up, man. Even LeBron James says he's going to be one of the next great superstars of the NBA. Always. And he's on our team, and he says, too, he wants to stay to a team that, uh, he wants to be dedicated to a team, basically. Yeah, he wants a franchise team. He wants a franchise team. Well, and, um, I want to go back to the Colonels, though. I mean, but did you hear about Larry Fitzgerald? What about Larry Fitzgerald? Uh, during the off season, he's actually going to think about if he's going to want to return for next season or if he's going to To the Cardinals? Yeah. The man deserves more than what we can give him. I'm sorry. I know. Hey, you I know, just think that's my opinion. I've been a huge Larry Fitzgerald fan. I love the Fitz. He Fitz. came to Arizona and just... How dominant he was. He's the face of the uh, Arizona. He's, he, is, he is. He's the, the face of the yeah. team. It used to be, you know, when it comes to sports stars, you know, Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, well, fuck Kurt Schilling now, but, uh, you know, for a long time, they used to be, like, the faces of Arizona when it came to sports teams such as yeah. commercials and shit. Seeing Randy Johnson selling things on TV. Well, and uh, I actually got to see Randy Johnson get his number retired. That's awesome. Ballpark, and that That's was cool. just amazing. Did you know he could actually play the, the drums? I didn't know that. Did you know he, uh, he's one of the, I think it's one of three people to ever kill a bird with a pitch? Yeah! <laughs> that, that is still my favorite um, yeah. shot of him just throwing the ball. The bird just flies right into yeah, the Yeah, just boom. boom. Like one in a million chance, apparently, for that to happen, yeah. It and all we see is just feathers go poof. And that's the fuck's the bird? I know, I thought that was funny as shit. The bird's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, today on MSNBC, Bernie Sanders was on, uh, well, Bernie Sanders was on MSNBC, sorry about that, all with Rachel Maddow. He was talking about his plans for uh, taking on Trump. He's talking about the Democrats are organi organizing rallies all across the country to fight against the Republicans' tax cuts, Obamacare, and other issues. Uh, Fifteen rallies so far have been organized. Uh, he made a point that Trump, during the campaign, took a very un-Republican approach to uh, gutting Medicare and Social Security. And now, right now, he's working with the very same Republicans that are uh, trying to fuck us over, pretty much. I mean, I don't know if you guys heard about it. They uh, they try to, well, they they tried, and I'm, I'm believing they're hearing backlash. They're going to have to step back on it a little bit. They try to cut the boards of congressional ethics, which is a uh, board that basically makes sure your congressman doesn't get bribes and doesn't do a bunch of illegal shit that, uh, <laughs> you know, that leads to fucking further corruption. That seems important. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the one balance we fucking have in government, you know, they want to cut gut that shit. Now, here's my idea why they want to cut it. It's like, because you know, it's obvious. Trump can have his children talk to different people, say, oh, yes, just hand us the wow. and we'll slip it into the pocket. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. That's a great point. I, I just started thinking about it because, I mean, we need that. That is so important. Get rid of it. Oh, I'm just going to slide to the manager. You know, there, there's very few checks and balances that we do have in this country, and that's one of them, and it's just like, and they barely do their fucking job, so they're just going to be put in fucking hold, but, you know, I just had a little note I had, I said we got Bush now, Bush was the neocon, Obama was the neoliberal, and now Trump is the fucking uh, crony capitalist, because that's what's going to happen now, that's what we're, we're fucking heading into, is a crony capitalist fucking society with him. Um, he also went on, uh, Trump also went on, uh, on, on his Twitter or whatever, and he's denying all the intelligence about the Russian hacking. Of course he is. Of course he is. You know, even though, like I've been telling people time and time again, Carter Page, Paul Manafort, Rex Tillerson, those are the fucking evidence right there. That's all you need to know, man, about his fucking, the way he views Russia, his stance on Russia. That's how he's going to move forward on Russia. I'm so sick and tired of people thinking, oh, you know, he has no involvement with Russia. Come fucking on, dude. How much more does he have to wave his dick in your face before you tell him to get out of your face? Well, he's Seriously. Been our best friends. Seems they to be like it's getting that point. Best friend bracelets. <laughs> BFFs forever. It's good. Yes, BFFs forever. But, you know, the, um, that's just the point I wanted to talk about, too, is um, with uh, Julian Assange. He also came out and said the reason he doesn't believe it is because Julian Assange says that he doesn't, uh, he didn't get it from the Russians. Even though... You know, I'm sorry. Even though Julian Assange works for RT Television, he has his own little segment. R yeah, he works for Russian Television. Of course he does. Of course he does, right? But no, Russia didn't help him at all. You know, and I didn't notice. You know, during my little uh, research into this whole thing, um, and CT Steve is joining us in the studio here. And uh, right before he walked in, I was, I'm sorry about that. I was just getting ready to finish my uh, point about Julian Assange. Did you guys know Julian Assange helped uh, Edward Snowden? 
I didn't know this at the time. I didn't know this. No. He actually helped. Okay, at first, Edward Snowden wanted to go to South America. Mm-hmm. He wanted to go to South America to escape, um, you know, from the U.S. It was, he actually asked Julian Assange, what should he do? Julian Assange recommended him to go to Russia. Not only did he do that, but he set him up with a, uh, a girl by the name of, like, a Sarah, Sarah Burns or whatever, I believe. I can't exactly remember her name right here. Um, but she is in heavy contact with the uh, Kremlin. Really? So not only did Julian Assange help Edward Snowden, it, it, but he, you know, he helped him hand it into Russia. He said, hey, not only that, but he had all the connections to get him to safety. And now, like we said on the last show, we're hearing words about Edward Snowden possibly being handed over to the U.S. as a, uh, you know, goodwill card to Donald Trump. I just, you know, I no longer, well, I'm just so tired, and I, you know, I'm throwing this out to people, the TYT nation, especially, too, this whole fucking notation that Julian Assange doesn't have motive. Like, the man doesn't have motive. If you steal personal government information and you're leaking, you clearly have fucking motive, man. I mean, you have motive. I mean, not only that, but the, another good point has been brought up the more I've been reading and reading about Julian Assange is not once has he ever put out anything that damaged Russia or any other country but the U.S. He's only done damage to the U.S. And I know that sounds, oh, well, you're saying WikiLeaks is specifically true. No, actually, Julian Assange's philosophy is a full transparency government. He, he, he says he wrote, he goes full outright against any government that is anti-transparency, that hides beneath, you know, behind veil of secrecy. So that's his philosophy. Um, I'm pretty sure the Kremlin is a pretty shady fucking organization. Anyone? <laughs> to say the least, yeah. yeah. Well, of course. Uh, I mean, it, just right now, you're seeing all these politicians coming out, apologizing to him right now. I mean, who, who, who's among the names right now? Sarah Palin's one of them. Well, you, you do know he want, he's, he's asking for a pardon, he's right? A pardon. He wants a so pardon. That, I mean, there's, there's your motive. There's, there's your motive. There's, there's your motive. motive. There's your big motive. Come on I mean, now. Come on. Come on, dude. And then here's the thing. People are just accepting it. So, I mean... You know, like, I heard Jimmy Dorn say, Oh, well, it's not, nothing WikiLeaks has put out has ever been factually wrong. You know, okay, okay, cool, whatever. If that's what you want to believe, cool. You want to believe everything that WikiLeaks has put out is true, whatever. Even though some people have said they've been able to falsify claims on some of the articles they've done by playing a game of telephone, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, but, you know, whatever. I, you know, not to say not all of it's true, and I, like, I hate this, you know, the whole idea of the whole, well, those things that needed to be hacked needed to be seen anyway, so it's okay. What? If, yeah, you're okay, you're okay with another government. Okay, I understand that that information needed to be known, but that's also, that, you know, that did need to be known, but the fact of the matter is that that information was stolen and given to you for another purpose. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Is like, why are they sitting there saying WikiLeaks doesn't have motive? Julian Assange is an angel. Julian Assange is never. I remember when the Republicans hated Julian Assange. Well, now here they are. <laughs> the hypocrisy. They're apologizing to him. So uh, you know, it's that they it's, were. It's funny. It, it's funny because yeah, I mean, from a guy, when you take something that doesn't belong to you, it's stealing. You guys want to hear something else that's crazy? So you know, I said that Trump is the crony capitalist now. It's really interesting because you know who suffers from crony capitalism the worst? The, econ- the 2016 economists did a uh, research into this. 18% of the uh, GOP in Russia is corrupt from crony capitalists, meaning Russia suffers the. They're on the top, one of the top of the list that suffers the worst from crony capitalism, meaning corruption with oil, big businesses, all that jazz. Well, Donald Trump's already admitted that he wants to get into all of that <sighs> oil and he does man he really does you know it's funny I once seen an old article and it was in um, George actually it was a uh, and it was around the election I was just looking on eBay at some of the issues of George that's John F. Kennedy's son's um, uh, magazine before he died oh. and one of the articles he had was about Donald Trump and it was really inter- interesting he called him basically what everyone's saying now is that he's just been this rich wannabe politician that wants to be patted on the back by all these people but he's never been able to get recognition he's just a he's a fake he's a fake he's a fake rich man right yeah he's a fake man yeah they were he was in that article i I do remember he was talking well he was talking this is before all the madness all the madness he was talking about his his uh his political dips because obviously he's a man well spoken on on twitter i mean 
look what just happened the other day with the whole North Korea and China. Oh, oh my, my God, God, dude. We're not, we're not getting on that, but I'm just well, saying. We will. Actually, that, that, that was actually ended the subject of our next talking that, point here. That's, um, that's just him. He He's a guy that, you know... He does like to be center of attention. He's the guy that, you know, no matter what, no what he says, he's he's like the massive troll. He's like the ultimate troll. He's like the toddler. He pretty much is. <laughs> he pretty much is. Yeah. I mean, he does things to get rises out of people. And I think most of them are distract from other things, the, personally. The, well, that's what that is. It's like yeah. You're basically riving up a crowd here while you're, you know, secretly doing something somewhere else. Something so shady. It's shady, and it's just, it's not the way you want to run it. It's bad. It's just bad. It's, it's a bad, bad thing to do. You're bad people. Just bad people. Now, on that whole North Korea thing, you know, fuck, man. I mean, oh, I can't... Do you like your news like that on Twitter anymore? Fuck, dude. You know, I hate to say this, dude. He's going to start, and it's like I've been saying, I'm very pissed off at, uh, some people will say, oh, fuck the honor system, fuck all this. Dude, that's what we have in the diplomatic world, man, is honor and trust, man. And he goes and he pokes China with a fucking stick. So if you guys don't know, basically uh, North Korea sent out a, uh, we're talking about its nuclear capabilities. Basically, that's like, as we reported on the show before, North Korea is, be, is one of Trump's top priorities when he comes into office because of their nuclear capabilities. And basically, he sent out a tweet saying that China needs to basically push back on North Korea. Don, China can't do anything, man. China has not been in cahoots with North, North Korea for a long time, man. They can't control them. It's like I said before on the show, Kim Jong-un is a loose fucking cannon, dude, just like Donald Trump, dude. He's a loose fucking cannon, He's man. He's a loose cannon, but he's a loose cannon that doesn't have the, the capability. Because uh, the thing that they're talking about, why he tweeted that out was apparently they uh, tested out one of their uh, nuclear weapons that can apparently reach Guam or around the or Japan, Japan and stuff yeah Japan to a lot of the US bases around Japan and South Korea so he tweeted that out saying that you know I don't know his word for word but oh China can take out the money whenever they want yeah. but they won't help with uh, North Korea so that, I, that that's just it's like a spoiled brat. Not I just everything. don't know why he's trying. Like, and some people think, "Hey, that's good. Let him be strong arm like that." No, no, you can't do that to that. these countries around the world, man. You just can't. You can't fucking put. They're not every country thinks like an American, man. No, I'm sorry. I don't think he cares though. I know he doesn't care, and that's why I'm saying I guarantee you we're gonna have some kind of international fucking war either with Iran or with North Korea. I'm more worried about the North Korea than Iran. North Korea... Iran would just be a it, fucking mess. Yes. It'd be World Everything War. Right now is... Yeah, that's... That would be it, World as War. As much as crazy as Donald Trump is, he wants no part of that. I don't know, so, man. I, I, I mean, mean, he I, put I, fucking I, Bolton I, into his know, fucking... I don't know. I think it's crazy. Oh, he, he, it, he would have to... We would know him as, like, evil beyond evil if he's going after that. I don't think he's that crazy, but North I, Korea... <sighs> They've been crazy for years. We've we've seen the stories about them I don't know. threatening and, and doing. I don't know. The, the reason I say it's different. There. It's like I told uh, CT Nick when he came on the show. It's like I told him. You know, it's different though. It's different because he's they're literally on the last leg, in my opinion, in North Korea. I mean, the last. I mean, there's not. They're fucking falling apart at the yeah. fucking seams. What else is he gonna fucking do? I mean, there's you got a demagogue that's about ready to say, hey. I was wrong. That ain't gonna happen. He's a fucking crazy. You wanna know how crazy he fucking is? Um, <laughs> there was a report that came out that not only did he get, kill his uncle, he fucking fed him to his dogs. Yeah. Fed him to his fucking dogs, man. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. But, you know, getting back to the whole Republicans and this whole fucking fiasco that's been going on. Not only that, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Obamacare a little bit. Right now, uh, that is the most scariest fucking thing I've ever heard. It's ticking down right now. It's ticking down, right? You know, I pulled up some of these numbers here, and I would just like to point out a few things. Um, the number of people... Let's see here if I can... If this is actually the right one here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have it. Anyway, oh, here it is. Over 500,000 people would be without medical insurance here in Arizona. If the Affordable Care Act gets... That, just in Arizona. That's just in Arizona. 500,000. And that's an estimate. Yeah, that's an so estimate. That's not an accurate number. That's projected. Yeah. I'm looking at that right now. Yeah. It's projected that that's how many people will lose health care. 
Um, a majority of the people here are, uh, let's see here, are between uh, ages zero and uh, I think it's 34 for most of them. So <laughs> 3.2, here we go, I got the numbers here. 3.2 billion would be sucked out of Arizona's economy. So that's how much money we would lose out of Arizona's economy. Um, eliminating medical coverage for low-income children, adults, as well as individuals who earn between 100 and 133 percent of federal poverty level. So basically, all the poor people can fucking suffer. Um, That's ridiculous. 425,000. If 425,000 residents um, lose Medicaid coverage, lawmakers would have to find 30, um, 32, 320 million more <laughs> what the state is currently spends on health care. So they'd have to find more money. 1.9 million Arizonians, or 20% of the state's population, currently gets health insurance through um, H, um, AHCCS. Well, yeah, access. Yeah. 50% of the access population is between 19, there it is, 19 and 64 years old. 40% are between the ages of 0 and 18. So, for those of you who are actually voting through a pill of Obamacare, you're a fucking monster. Yeah. You're a fucking monster if you think that. Well, I, I'm looking at Twitter right now, and I'll, I'm actually looking at Donald Trump's uh, Twitter page. He actually talks about Arizona. Arizona oh, yeah, he Arizona cited Arizona. He, yes, he did. He cited, That's why I'm bringing this topic up, is because he actually did cite Arizona. One of the funniest things, too, is I love this, too. For all you er people who give a shit about Arizona, we have it about a 24 million... Um, available dollars for the next fiscal year. That's 20, that's a surplus that we have. If he appeal, uh, repeals Obamacare, that money is going to be gone. Because we're going to have to use that money to fucking plug the hole for things. So, if you give a shit about Arizona, you would think twice about this. But I'm sure some of you, you know, that that's my problem um, a lot that I wanted to talk about with some of these things too, is this fucking mentality lately that I've been seeing more and more of this. I want to say it's almost an NFL mentality. Have you guys been noticing this? This whole, it's my team, I have to defend my team no matter what. Oh, yeah. It's like this, it's like it's spilling from sports to politics now. Where it's my, if it's my team, it's my team. If I'm a Republican, I have to defend a Republican. If I'm Democrat, I have to defend a Democrat. And we see that in polls where like 50% of Republicans believe that Obama's a fucking Muslim. And I hate to say it too, 50% of Democrats think the you know, Russians literally hacked the election. And like we said on the show, we don't believe they literally hacked the tallies, but we do believe they had influence in everything that went on in this election. Well, well we've seen it. We've seen it. It's fucking evidence. Who's the biggest example of that? Be run Paul Wright. <laughs> I mean, Paul Ryan, uh, he's another one. I mean, oh, dude, Paul Ryan's there's, fucking disgusting. There's so many, uh, they're politicians. There's politicians. Are, he's yeah, he's one of the most heinous, heinous fucking people. creepiest. I mean, there's oh, a lot God, of these guys out there that are like that, that are just going to be, they're going to toe the party line no matter what happens, good yeah. or bad, if they're for the guy or not. I mean, Donald, no one was going for Donald Trump. Nobody. He was me. No, his whole party wasn't going for him. They were, I think they that's were, great. The whole party was turning on <laughs> no him. No one even that. Like, oh, see, he's such a he's such a maverick and he's such a rogue that his own party's turning against him. But those same people he's bringing in. He <laughs> now, now he let go of what Rudy. Yeah, Jones, he he's, he's, he's bringing the swamp in. Yeah, he's bringing the the so-called swamp drain. It's coming I'm right in. Man. Drain in the swamp. Let's bring in the guy from Golden Sachs. You know what? Maybe maybe when he meant drain the swamp, he meant I'm gonna drain it into the White House. No, maybe I, that's what no, he meant. I, 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 I don't know. know. No, drain it right in the White House. Uh, drain his lizard, and people thought like something wrong of it. So they're like, oh, he's gonna like take it out. Like, no, 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 dude, he's seriously becoming the fucking swamp, dude. It's it's really it's really fucking. I mean, I just think like we're going back with his old Twitter rant that we just saw there. I mean, he goes on Twitter and says these really, really. Dumb, stupid. Things. You gotta handle these things leaves better. There and then just lets the world read it. And <laughs> instead of addressing it, which he's going to have to do, are we gonna have our first president that just has blows out whatever? No, oh, fact. everything. First press conference through Twitter. Yeah, why yeah. not Twitter? Facebook Live. Uh, catch the president. He's just gonna start talking. It's like, why aren't you addressing this on the television? Like the only when was the last time we saw him was when he was being. And I believe Obama, right? if. If I'm not mistaken, that's the very thing he ranted against Hillary Clinton about was not doing enough press. Not doing enough press. Where is she at? He Where is she at? Dragging her and, and well, she, she. But again, Steve, 
They don't give a shit. Oh, yeah. They don't. They love to read his tweets. It, like, it comes back to the whole bipartisanship. The fact that every fucking person seems to be like, this is my team, I gotta stay on my team. Hey, I, I, I don't care if the pizza game is bullshit. I'm gonna believe it. Why? Because conservatives told me to. The alt-right told me to. Breitbart told me to. Alex Jones told me to. I just, I, I, it's not only is it fucking gross, it's fucking dangerous. Dude, it's easier to comply. Did you, have you guys heard they're putting professors all across the country now? These conservatives are, they're listing professors that they find out to be too liberal. Seriously. Too liberal. Why? As if school was not a resource for you to challenge your views, as if not to learn, to gain a different perspective. Well, you, you but you need a safe space? Yeah, the safe space. You I mean, need a safe space. A bunch of, yeah, you cannot debate without there some being someone yeah. saying, hold on, wait a minute. I, I Go I, online I, and look how many space. students have filmed their teachers. Filmed their teachers. Yeah. And yeah. they're losing a debate against the professor, yeah. and they call it off because they are, I need my safe space. I'm going to go to HR about you now. Yeah. So it's like, why why go to college and further your knowledge if you're not going to be open to it? <laughs> it's the same thing as a nation. I mean, if you're going to not be open to views that are different from your own in any way, why even, why even I, I would say, as far as go as vote? Because if you're just going to have your blinders on and believe anybody what they say, Hillary or Trump, Democratic or Republican, why even go out there? Yeah. You know, I, I, I've been saying, too, what was it all for, then? If it wasn't for getting rid of, you know, dra the swamp, what was it all for, then? Race? The money. Man. You know, they actually did a, uh, I don't know the whole facts, I watched it on TYT, actually, and yes, we do watch TYT on the show, most of us. Um, they were talking about this county that actually got favored Obama. Basically, Obama directly affected their lives. They were a county, I, I want to say Indiana, or no, I mean, uh, Indiana, that basically, um, they were, a, they built the, they're the largest, largest RV manufacturer. They built RVs. Now, during the two terms that Obama went, they voted for Obama. And then guess what? They voted, they turned around and voted for Trump. When they took the poll, they said Donald, they said Obama did nothing for them. Even though Donald, even though Obama bailed out the auto industry, that directly affected you. What the fuck are you talking about? Get your fucking head out of your goddamn ass, or maybe drop your racist, fucking narcissistic views, and look at your fucking facts, man. I mean, come on. That's all I can say to a lot of this shit is, come on. You know, I don't want to say race plays a lot, didn't play a lot, but it just more sometimes I feel like it does, man. Because they hate Obama because he's black. <laughs> do you guys, say, do you guys not think reality. they do? I mean, do you not think they do? I mean, am I alone in this? Oh. Of course they do. I, race play, always if, plays he was, if he was, I'm sorry, if he was Republican and he was white, he would be one of the greatest Republican presidents of all no, time. Even if he was Republican and he was still the same, he would be one of the greatest presidents. I mean, of all he's time. done every single thing. Was cons Obamacare itself is a right wing idea. It comes. It's almost. It comes from Nixon's plan, man. It's actually a direct, um, a direct fucking uh, rebuttal to the fucking cons to the liberal plan the liberal by a conservative think tank. Does anybody not remember when Obamacare first happened? No, when they don't. That party was like they don't. Mm, I don't know about that. That Obamacare. It was the Democrats. The Republicans were like, yeah, we're for it. Dude, I don't even think you you realize too. Many people don't even know. What, if, uh, I'm serious, you can ask somebody, do you know what Obamacare is? I know what fucking Obamacare is. Do you know what the Affordable Care Act is? No. Many people just know it as Obamacare. And then, but if you ask them, do you like the Affordable Care Act? They say yes. I like it. But Obamacare is a slang term we use for it, and, you know, apparently that's, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. You can't have, you can't have the word Obama. He's a, he's a, he's a, I mean, come on. He's Barack Hussein Obama, man. He's a far left socialist Muslim. I mean, he's a communist. He's a fucking, you know, whatever you want to call him. Whatever you want to say, he always has been. I never understood that. I, you know, I'm a socialist. I'm a socialist. I just thought it was always fucking hilarious when people were like, that Obama... That was that socialist trying to make everything out of socialist China. What are you talking about? He's like the most unsocialist fucking guy I've ever seen. <laughs>
He's so he's so center left. He's he's more center. He's not even center left. But they just they hate him. Well, um, I actually want to jump in here real quick. I actually found um, I don't know if it was the same town, but there is actually another town that supported Obama for four or, or for eight years, and then went off and voted for um, Trump. It was um, in Maine, Oxford County. Huh. <laughs> that happened all across the board, man. That happened all across the board. It happens a lot. You know, most people don't even see that Obama directly affected their lives with a lot of it, but whatever. What we, you know, what does facts say? Facts are conspiracies now. It's true. There you are. All right, we'll be right back. And we're back. Welcome back to the Minute Man. And uh, you know, before we get started, I had a special, uh, special little thing I wanted to send out to uh, CT Ducky over here. Many of you don't know, but CT Ducky is a uh, oh vegan. My God. <laughs> he's, he's a vegan, and I wanted to play this it's for him. I wanted to just play this for you, everybody. This Like, oh, yeah, he's a vegan. Yeah. He's a vegan. Indeed. Animals are innocent. You're not. You're not doing that. Right? Yeah, he is. No, he's. No, he's no, I mean, are you making music videos like that? No. no. Okay. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> no. Ducky no. is clearly behind the notation of animals are innocent. You should have heard the conversation we had into the studio okay, about. Fine. I mean, oh, is it fine? I don't. Well, we have a topic about <laughs> animals, but I mean, I don't need him going goodbye for. <laughs> In fact, we'll play that song out oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, the end of the show. <laughs> Is that what you want, though, CD Ducky? I mean, I, he believes in the cow conspiracy. The cow conspiracy. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, he does. Right. But, oh, I thought you knew what that was. That's the whole fact that there's some that people eat so many so much beef that uh, the cows methane helping the global warming effect. Yeah. You know, greenhouse effect. Yeah, really? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. thing. That's the real thing. Uh, thing. Uh, I'll have to eat like a slaughter's house. house. Oh, there it is. Do you guys hear it? Please repeat that into the mic for us so everyone can hear your... Uh, processing plants that slaughter the cows. Poor cows. Da, 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 da. Game over, man. Game over. I'm not against harvesting meat. Harvesting meat. He's just uh, against... Eat it. He just doesn't want to eat it. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, uh, CDC yeah, actually I mean, but, has but a, and Actually, that's funny about the global warming thing, because that kind of leads into our next topic, which is going to be a continuing conspiracy, I guess, I guess you can call it now. I mean, kind of it is. is considering our present elect, which is global warming. But, you know, global warming is, I mean, we're going to give you, I'm going to give you quick statistics of uh, 2016. Um this was coming from uh, Climate News of NASA. The solar and wind energy has been decreasing costs at a considerable rate in 2016, which is a really, really big, big uh, plus for uh, climate change. Because since 2002, we've been, I mean, we've seen the decrease in polar caps across the world, not even the, it was the United it's States. Polar bears. Now, yeah, the polar, polar bears, but it's a true thing here. Uh, the emissions in the U.S. and other neighboring countries have been reduced for coal-based power and natural gases, which is another huge, big push. I mean, did you guys? I don't know if any of you guys seen it, but he was a big meme on the internet. Uh, there's this guy that um, his name is uh, what's his name? I think his name was Kenneth Bone. <laughs> and he became a big, huge internet sensation because he was wanting to ask Donald Trump about his uh, energy and natural gas. Uh, oh, oh yeah, 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 I don't know yeah, why I was blaming that. Yeah, yeah. He, uh -huh. Well, he was another component of the global warming. He was talking about 
coal-based power and how yeah. it was going to help him. So he was th- that is right right then. That's a really big, huge uh, step in the climate change for people to open your eyes because you know the whole thing with carbon dioxide and it's destroying the ozone layer. Let me uh, let me stop you right there, Steve. On a point I have to make too that um, you know I hear this argument a lot because I once said to someone too, we need to cut down on coal, and he's like, you're gonna put. Tons of coal miners out of business, man. Uh, and let me tell you something. Okay, but this is what I found out. Yes, coal is our number one. We use it. It's number one. It's number one. It's we need one. it. But it's also the dirtiest. But you know what's the problem with it being the dirtiest? Is actually there is actually um, filters set up and processes set in place now to make these um, factories and these, you know, um, the emissions cleaner. The problem is it's not cost effective. Out of the hundreds of power plants that are going to be um, built in this next coming up year, only one has this technology in it. One? Right. Only, only one. one. Which is why I brought up the solar power, uh, the solar wind energy, the wind energy coming from usually the West Coast. And in Arizona, the state we live in, the solar energy. So I know you guys, I don't know if you've seen those ads where... Oh, APS is war APS against APS solar? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, right. Fuck yeah. APS. Power. It's helping out the the ozone layer and everything else. I mean, like, and just, we were talking about animals, but the animals, uh, all these animals in the Arctics and the, uh, the desert combined right now are having even more trouble adapting to uh, all these climate changes. The colder, the winters are getting colder, so a lot of these, uh, the bugs like beetles that uh, usually dive under the snow and hibernate like a bear are usually, they, they're not surviving, which is detrimental to the food chain. You know what I mean? Like, you think you have a bug, really, like a beetle? But all these foxes... That's dying, important. Yeah. Little like, things like that are important. All these foxes are dying out. All these polar wow. bears. Polar <laughs> bears right now are... They, there is a... Uh, we know about the droughts, right? Yeah. California yeah. has a big drought going on right now. Okay, and in North, in North America, period, has... A apparently big not big Donald Trump. Trump. Apparently he yeah, can open those Trump. waterways yeah. and that drought. Yeah, it's, but here's the thing. Yeah, scientists have predicted a 30% drop in the populations of polar bears. That's so, crazy. For the next That's shocking. This is over the next 35 years. That, no. That 30% wow. of polar bears will be gone. That that means that you will not see... that. The only polar bears you'll see will be in the zoo by then. That's crazy. All the polar bears will be captivated wow. and sent to zoos so they will survive. All these... like Here's a favorite documentary of mine. I like to watch it. It's on Netflix. It's uh, called uh, Planet Earth. Oh yeah, oh, great yeah, documentary. They they go over the polar cap uh, and it shows uh, polar bears' lifespan, and it's very very sad. Where mo- you know mom polar bears are killing and eating their youngs is just so they can survive. That's crazy. And the ones that do survive, they are they're having a hell of a time to eat. You know they eat seals or like, did you, you hear nothing. giraffes are not going to be put on the endangered species list now? Yeah, they're next yeah, as well. Yeah. Giraffes. There's another one from the desert. And elephants, too? Oh, I know about elephants. Yeah, well... You know, some people are saying we're entering the phase of a mass extinction right now. We pretty much are. All these, I mean, lions are another one. I mean, are you... I know you... If Well, I don't know if you guys have been on safaris or if you've been in zoos or anything where they pretty much tell you to uh, don't go outside of, you know, it's for your own safety, you know, blah, 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 for the lions. I like to go outside anyway. There's only a couple of lions in the United States. Mm. I think there's only a handful. I don't have the statistics, but I know it's within a handful, which is around 30. Wow. This is counting, and this is and that's majority of female lines, because there's usually female, more female lines. Than Wait, 30 in the, all of America? Or in all of America. Wow, really? Like, again, I, I'm telling you, all these animals that you're seeing now, like polar bears on, on the Arctic, all these uh, <clears throat> ex- exotic birds will be capticized and sent to zoos for their own protection. From the hazardous winds that we're been getting up. I mean, I'm. Zoos how, aren't. Many, how many times have we seen on the news the hottest summer of all time? The hottest winter. You know, of they're all projecting time. it's going to be the next hottest it's summer again, the too. The hottest summer of all time. But uh, global warming doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And this, doesn't is, exist. this is why we talk about Donald Trump. Him not taking the time to at least say, okay, I don't believe it. But I'm going to take the time to look for it. You know, I'm going to take the time. We're going to take a team to research this and really get into. No, instead he's just denied. He, he never will, and he's just denied, denied. Well, I wouldn't say he never will, because 
never is a long time, but the man right now is we know him. So Squid has no that. faith in Yeah, I, I mean, Don. It, <laughs> I, 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 I like know. to give a sliver of faith for our own well beings, because if a man who's going to lead the, our country is saying that climate change is a myth, a Chinese hoax. I mean, he's basically converting that to like climate change is basically like a Lord of the Rings book. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings book. I, I would like to put some faith in Donald Trump, but I mean, I actually have to see the proof. Show me the proof that he's actually going to do like things he didn't say he was going to do. Then I'll actually start believing in him and saying, okay, <laughs> he's kind of doing some things right. Right. But I mean, with him and global warming, like we brought up in the show of, in the past, his people want the names of the scientists yeah. that are, are that are involved with global warming. Yeah, all the people that are research into it. The war on science continues. I mean, but, it's like, a, huh, like I was saying, Snoozer wants global warming. Snoozer tells Donald Trump global warming. It's funny, I, it's funny, but it's also sad because you can't deny these changes in weather. These animals are dying for like years. Yeah, for what? years, they've been just going slowly and slowly, slowly away by. Oh, what do you mean by that, Doc? People have been denying it for years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like even when Al Gore was running for president, and then oh, oh, yes. uh, yeah. everything he says is a hoax. And yeah, you know, like I said, the, 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 war man the I actually just recently saw another video on YouTube about some. I can't. I don't fucking follow half these videos because they're so fucking stupid. But the guy was literally citing that one I, politician that brought a fucking snowball in the fucking Congress. Oh, what, so if global warming is real, then they must not be seeing the snow and do a fucking snowball on the Senate floor. Like, what I, yeah. What the fuck does that prove? <laughs> Nothing. They're going to wait until I there's can't. no snow anywhere to believe it. <laughs> I can't it's not imagine. weather change. I, I probably would just run into Congress and go, look! look I, 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 that's one of the times I wish I was there because I would have been like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> Sit the fuck down. That means nothing. <laughs> I wish, you know, sometimes I wish I was there. I don't want to fuck. No, I don't want to deal with Because I don't think I could deal with half those fucking people. I would just be like, you, you're a fucking asshole. Oh. Sit the fuck now. Right, come on, Rob. You give him a slow clap first and then tell me to get the fuck. Come on. <laughs> you're like, congratulations, you made it this far. Get the hell out of here. like, congratulations. You have made us a lot more stupider. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, but, you know, it, it, heading into this year, 2017, I mean, we, us in this room, uh, I mean, we, we feel the climate change. Uh, we're living in Arizona. We feel it. I mean, you know, it's we've been all these dramatic... We live in the devil's asshole. Of course we feel everything he eats. I mean, seriously. All you really do have to do is just look at the sky. Yeah. I mean, Arizona was known for having clear skies. They never had any clear it's been, Yeah, it's been raining a lot it's this year. Raining. It's crazy. It's been overcast. We've been having monsoons been off. Oh, monsoons been off. Monsoon was off. Crazy. Yeah. It's changing whether you like it or not. You can't deny that. But well, as far as the animals go, uh, like I said about you know them dying off, elephants being one of them. That's but so the, sad. They're, they're fighting it on two fronts, which is incredibly God, sad, sad because not only are they fighting climate change. They're also fighting poachers. Poaching. But it doesn't seem like they're fighting it as much as they are because uh, and by the end of 2017, uh, there has been a treaty set by President China President uh, Jinping and the United Jinping. States President, as we know him right now, before he gets out, Barack Obama, they signed a, uh, an, an, an act that is near completed uh, to the end of 2017. Now... This is a huge thing for the elephants because, like I said, that there was only a handful of lions. There's even yeah. less than elephants. It's a staggering number of le almost, we're almost approaching less than 25%. That's crazy. I know tigers are on the brink, too. And they're on the brink. I think there's, I think there's so, half the tiger species, the sub I think there's half of them are gone already. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's tigers and mountain Tigers. Mountain lions are another one that are pretty much... Yeah, but mountain lions are dicks. Yeah. <laughs> but as you know them, you're never going to see them again. So, I know. I mean, no, I don't mean that. For these kids I don't mean that. Not, they're right? part of the food chain, but they're, they're dicks of, when they come around yeah, and fucking eat around, shit. It's, it, it's, not, it's not a pretty sight they come around. No, it's uh, not. But it's a big step for China as well. Uh, this is a smart move for China. Yeah. This is, in, in a way, this is sort of a one-up to a Trump move that Trump just did. 
for China. Him kind of going out and sporadically saying what he's doing and China making strategic steps uh, in the future. Like I said, by the end of this year, we're not going to have any more. And if you don't know, China is the last market, the uh, legal market. That, for right? ivory? Yeah, for ivory. I mean, That's crazy. the ivory trade was uh, denounced, was banned in the year 1989. Yeah. And all of and all the nations except China. So that's why you have a lot of people that's funneling, crazy. funneling at like ch- ivory, ivory to China. Is a big, big market. Yeah. Huge market. If people don't know what ivory is, by the way, it's the tusks it's of the elephants. Yeah. But fun fact, did you know? Did you know elephants actually have a dominant tusk? Like we have dominant hands, left yeah. and right. They actually prefer one tusk over the other, and that mostly is where the, the ivory is most expensive. Is the tusk that is mostly used. Yeah, and that's actually quite interesting. Right, yeah. I, I know you've probably seen in like these uh, exotic markets where they have a bunch of shit from all over the country, and you've probably seen a tusk mm-hmm. there, you've, and it's it's real, it's real. Uh, uh, like I said, it, For it, elephants. it's crazy. These elephants are are dropping. Like I said, more than thirty five percent, but the actual numbers are uh, one hundred and ten thousand since two thousand. Damn. Now that's not. I'm not even giving you the the numbers of how many we've lost since 2007. And here's another one, another <laughs> plug, a cheap plug for for Netflix. But I gotta give it to them. They have another amazing documentary. I've said it. I think last show and I've said it before. But they have another uh, documentary called The Ivory Game, which oh yeah, plays, yeah, 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 I did see that one. Also, cool, yeah. yeah, the cool uh, and demonic nature of these poachers that basically. They're not even going for the adults anymore. Uh, no, they're, they're for the yeah. children because they want to raise them as their own. Yeah, as a captive. The test yeah. Because it's easier that way. But you know, they're out there killing them. That's so crazy. Their parents, leaving their dead bodies. And this is a big, huge, like I said. It reminds me a lot of the whole Virunga situation in the yeah, Congo, how these is. rebel groups are just killing gorillas just to get international just outrage. Get yeah, just to get it. And they're, some of these cultures are doing that just to get their names out. Yeah, that's Even fucking sad. That's real basically sad. basically go kill a small baby animal, not because we're trying to harvest its goods. We're just doing that to see if you're going to be one of us. Because it, poaching is going to be, as much as this is a big step for uh, you know the country, China, and just the world, this is a big, huge step back in a ways, too, because this means poachers are going to be even more dastardly and stepping up their game to, to prove that you are one of them. It's co- sort of like a gang. Like, you've got to kill all these babies uh, of all these different type of species and animals just to prove that you're a poacher. Wow, you are really, really tearing Ducky up right now. Uh, yeah. I mean, he I is. But no, seriously though, that is, that is no, this fucking is a huge, this sad. Is a state and saving good the world. God, you know what man. I mean? It's, it's, it's very sad, but good God. it's a big thing, and it's not being talked about. But no, no, no one's class we're talking about it here. Yeah, I'll hang on a minute, man. That's where you're gonna find this kind of news. But let's uh, let's switch over to a little lighter topic. Did you guys see Mariah Carey's performance? Did you guys see what happened? Oh gosh, she was. You know what? I'm gonna have to defend her though a little bit because I understand a little bit now, a little bit about your host Rob here. I used to be in bands before I played music. Um, I understand when it come when you're a big singer like that. How most of the time now, most of the time they have their stuff pre-recorded. I know Mariah Carey is a good singer. She actually is a good singer. She is. Now, most of the time they have it pre-recorded because they don't like to fuck up their vocal cords because they do got to go on tour. They got to do all this. Now, I have actually seen it to where she lip sings, but she will come in and sing over herself and doing stuff. But the problem with that show was she could not hear herself. There was no point. There was she couldn't yeah, like hear. Her earpiece was fucked up. People are going and saying she didn't know her own lyrics. I don't believe that. No. I know the technical technical things about it. You know, seriously. She's saying those songs so, so many times. fucking times. Heard them in her ears. Do you mean to seriously sit there and tell me she does not know her own fucking songs? Come on. Shut the hell up. What the fuck do you know? That's all I can tell people. Yeah, I'm almost like, almost like getting to the Greek. What the fuck do you know, huh? <laughs> Do you know anything about music? Obviously you don't. If you're saying that she doesn't know her lyrics after all the fucking years she's been in music, and she screws up because, yes, she couldn't hear herself. That happens. I've been with people, I've played with people on stage that cannot play because they cannot hear themselves. That is literally a thing. Some people wear earplugs in their ears so they can hear themselves clearly because the sound is nullified so you can actually hear it clear. But, you know, 
It was pretty bad, though. I, I wouldn't have done it. The, the, now, here, here, now, here's my critique of her. Yeah, is the way she did it was terrible. It was, it was a big slap to people because it was on New Year's Eve. And yeah. all those people were there since 8 o'clock in the morning. It was just midnight. And she, she should have here, stopped. And she just stopped. And, see, this, is, this was always my role even when I played, too. <laughs> this is my role even when I played is don't be forced on. Don't let anyone force you on to have a bad performance, and that's what she did. She let them. She didn't be. She should. Everyone's like, she's a diva. She's a diva. She was a, she should have been more of a diva. She should have been more of a diva that night and been like, all right, you guys, I can't fucking hear myself. I'm not going back out there until you fucking give me some headphones or you give me something that I can hear myself with because I'm just gonna make myself look like an asshole. I'm gonna make you look like an asshole. Yep. I'm gonna fuck up this whole performance. Now that's what I would have done. But she didn't do that. I heard her go, I'm going to let the fans sing this she one. Was, yeah. She on the side, her background dancers were dancing. I don't know. Yeah, she says, oh, my God. Why? Yeah. Uh, I mean, but they did their part. They, the whole show can't stop. But, you know. No, like, this, that's the point, though. The show can't stop. And I would tell people what I was playing with, don't stop. If you fuck up, if you miss a lyric, don't stop. Don't stop. You are the yeah, professional. Are the they don't know. You are the professional. Anything you do, they think is going to be deliberate. Right. And they will not notice it unless it's something like, oh, you kill all Mexico. <laughs> right. Well, I realize the, uh, the backup dancers actually do look pretty silly. I heard even the backup playing. dancers trying to get her to come they off stage. Huge. They were doing there was another yeah. there's another rumor too that went around saying that she had time to rehearse this, but she didn't. She did not. Yeah, I heard but that. that uh, here, but that's the mentality when you said she's a diva. She, she is a diva. Known for doing that. Yeah, she she's is known a diva. for not rehearsing. And you want to know? You want to know a singer? I want singing that doesn't uh doesn't lip sing. I know it's for sure because he busted out right in the middle of singing. Just I don't believe lip singing. Fucking Prince, dude. Right in the middle of the show, man. He's just like boom, just fucking playing, just like I don't believe lip singing. And everyone's like. Ah! They could have literally sang any one of her songs. They could have dropped the music, <laughs> yeah, and it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. But Rob gave a good point. I mean, she's older now, and uh, you know, her vocal cords got to be hashed. I mean, she she they're not she hashed, but she um, does. She, she can't she always. Can notes, like, yes, she has a very oh, yeah. high pitched not singing. Super, yeah, you high can't pitch. hit the super high singing. So I I get the whole lip singing, like you said, about going on tour. Yeah, you can't you can't sing like that on all. No, she's not an Eliza Bradley. You know, basically oh, with. No. Everything they did was absolutely bullshit, and that's what people are trying to paint her out as being. Is like she didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Right. No, she does. You know why she knows what the fuck she's doing? You know why I know Mariah Carey's a lot more of a. Uh, you know why I know she's a good singer because she she fell out of grace before and had to come back on her own. Uh, I believe her the boyfriend she had, her lover, her husband, whatever, was actually her studio manager, the guy who recorded all her fucking albums. So yeah, she had to actually be talented yeah, for someone else to pick her back up. Yeah, I mean, come on now. So, yeah. so all these, I, I mean, it's just the different times. I mean, you know, But I'm not criticizing her. I'm criticizing her on the way she handled it. But I have never seen a worse handle of a situation like that since, what, who, what was that chick on SNL? Was it um, Jessica Simpson? Jessica Simpson, uh, fucking Irish dance. She almost oh. did her little jump. I mean, yeah. that bad. It was like a repeat. I mean, yeah. She didn't, yeah, she didn't river dance at the end, but, I mean, it looked like. It was bad. Was it was definitely bad. It was bad. Mariah Carey should have just left. She should have left. She should have just left. She should have walked off and been like, "Hey, I just like I said, she just walked off and said, I need this needs to be fixed right yeah, now.' Yeah, and they they could have just kept playing the music. The dancers I would have been like, like, I don't care. We'll close, close. Right. I'll go longer. Right. I'll go yeah, way yeah, past midnight. It would have just been like yeah. just a technical problem. She needed to go to the side. Yeah, but again, like, but again, she's at the end of the day, she is a professional. Yeah, she's got to know how, how to handle this. Yeah, even though if it doesn't arise often, it makes me wonder if that situation is. <laughs> Never happened to her. Never, 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 never happened to her. She just handled it poorly. Yeah, I think she handled it very well, poorly. It was live. It's it's really, really, it's 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 scale, and so it's big. So I see the both ends of it. I see both ends, but both ends. what I'm gonna definitely sit there and say is, anyone who says she did not know her songs, you're a fucking that idiot. idiot. See, that's the thing you're where an idiot. it's it's just the time we live in where. If people are quick to trash somebody else. Yeah. So it's that thing where, you know, you're getting these celebrities like, oh, nice job screwing up their songs. Like, why don't you get out there? And yeah, what the fuck you know, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, why don't you get it? I mean, we get the whole, like, you were saying about um, Million Vanilli. I mean, 
they just didn't have anything. So that there, she's not on that level. She's yeah. Sung and sold millions of albums. So it's just, uh, it's a weird. It was a weird thing. It was a weird I'm, thing. I still on that topic. Like that. that I thought that was the a crowd show it to or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a good cherry on top. Yeah, I think that was a good cherry on top for uh, 2017. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Nick Cannon sabotaged her. <laughs> oh my god, that would be the best revenge ever. <laughs> Alright, we'll, uh, we'll be right back with the split files. Alright, and we're back with, with the Minute Man with everyone's favorite segment, the Squid Files. It's time for Hello, and welcome to the Squid Files. According to a legend in Iceland, if you don't get new clothes for Christmas, you will be eaten by a giant cat. There used to be a fake apple stores in China. Even had the staff were convincing that they were working for Apple. Mary talked managed to trick doctors into believing that she had given birth to rabbits. Mary did this by shoving rabbits up her vagina before pushing them out and birthing them. And my favorite, in ancient Egypt, men could take time off work to care for their menstruating wives or daughters. And for my Star Wars buffs, there is a guy in Portland who plays a set of bagpipes that shoot out flames while dressed as Darth Vader and riding a unicorn. And lastly, everybody's favorite Rob Riggle. Little is known about the man, but he's actually a retired U.S. Colonel. And that has been the Squid Files. Wow. <laughs> I don't know about some of those. Those are crazy. <laughs> so yeah, you, could, you had me in a vagina and then a rabbit. Uh, I think that you're was, either going was, uh, to bring them all in or lose them all. Yeah. <laughs> so you're still with us. Yeah. You said Agent Egypt. Agent Egypt. <laughs> and Agent, Agent Egypt. I'm going to get emails about like, so are you guys into that rabbit thing? Are you guys into Agent Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> My God, man! Some of those are just insane that you're flying squid. I mean, I, mean, I don't even. <laughs> the rabbits one. It was what? Yeah. Something to do. I mean, what the? F I knew people did the whole fake exorcism. When the, have you guys ever seen that? When they take eggs and they'll switch them out for like good and bad eggs, and they'll rub somebody with oh, it. Yeah. And they'll be like, "You got a demon in you." Like, oh, Oh my god! Yeah, you know who did that? You see that guy who did the uh, who does a bunch of the exorcism via Skype now? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. That I didn't know the thing. He's like the power of Christ can expel you off the uh, the computer, and, they, and there's like a 17 year old kid. He's like, wait, 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 He's not doing this on Skype as in if the person's there with him and you're seeing it. He's doing it over the computer through the over internet. the computer and then like the kid just like snaps out of he's like, I'm free. And he's just like, yeah, I'm going to go back for another session because I think I've still got a couple of Holy like, shit, yeah, man. And that was, now again, this wasn't like on weird bizarre news. This was on the Five Flat games. <laughs> and that's apparently new. Yeah. I mean, he's like, yes, this is very yeah. serious. I take about a couple of them a day. Wow. Like, okay. Holy Skype. You gonna try it out? Yeah. Hell yeah. Holy Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Some guy's fetish right here. Yeah. Wow, yeah. dude. Like, like, like Omegle or something. It just doing some random people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Man, we have that's too much cool. fun on this show. <laughs> <laughs> good. Too much of that. But hey, I'm just saying. I, 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 I just can't get a why? I mean, you can't believe that Donald Trump is going to be our literal president. Oh, no! Oh, I, I, I actually have a predicament. I want to make the first predicament for the Minuteman for this new year. I do. Oh, I'm man. making my first predicament, okay? And I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Okay, okay, here it goes. So, next, so this year when we have, when Donald Trump is president and the first, and then when he comes to pardon the turkey, 
he ain't gonna pardon the turkey. He's gonna say the turkey's an immigrant. And he's, gonna say, <laughs> he's, gonna say, he's gonna say he's gonna say he's gonna say he's gonna pardon the turkey right to the fucking oven. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, that's gonna be the greatest thing of all time. Like, and that's that. You know what's crazy? Is it might actually happen? <laughs> and if it happens, I need him stone faced like he is, like semi. I'll be right here to report it. I'll be right here to report it. Service coming in, taking the duck and uh, maybe turkey. All over everywhere. It's, it's just gonna be on CNN. That's gonna be his major play to destroy media. Right there, boom! It's gonna be on all the media. Dude, he's gonna like, dude, he's, he's gonna, gonna have some like controversy that. going around. Yeah, he's gonna like, just tweet that out. He's gonna, <laughs> be, gonna kill the turkey for the Thanksgiving party. <laughs> 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 he's stabbing a, tur- a oh turkey God. versus. I'm it's scared. Like, oh my People God. are gonna go fucking crazy. They're gonna have like Don Lemon's gonna be on CNN being like, you know, they, they pardoned the turkey for like so long. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're, you're missing your other thing, Rob. You know how like they had the whole annual uh, candy pass up for Halloween. He's gonna oh. jump out of the bushes. There comes the three-eyed monster. To be honest with you, he's gonna be the first ever just streaking president. To- Did you guys see his uh, his naughty list for uh, Christmas? <laughs> Did you guys see Trump? It was blacks, yeah. Jews, Muslims. <laughs> 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 oh, it was so horrible. Yeah. Oh, he is going to just be... Uh, so all of us here except for the squid? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, the squid loves Trump. He's he's Trump's biggest fan. I mean, hey, it's going to be funny when it happens. This is anti-fan. Yes. And hey, you know, I just want to remind all our listeners out here, no, we have not dropped the whole conspiracy things, but we still will do them. Uh, we still have that Alex Jones uh, show coming up here, so keep staying tuned for us. That might be our biggest... Um, that's going to be a big show. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Uh, I know we keep putting it off, but... We're, we're not putting it off. It, we're just a, building it's suspense. Making, it's building, yeah. It's building suspense. If you don't know who Al- Alex Jones is... Um, He's king of conspiracy. Do I, do I have to just... Gay frogs. Like, gay frogs. Just, seriously... Literally Google gay frogs, his face will pop up. All right, well, you know, let me let me just finish the show off here. We'll just so you guys know we're not bullshitting on some of these. So we did a lot of research into Alex um, this this end of this year here. One of the conspiracies we found out about him, which is very interesting. Uh, this one, one I will call it out right now. I think it's pure bullshit, but it's a very interesting one, and it, it kind of coincides with what we will be talking about with him, and that is that Alex Jones. Um, is actually Bill Hicks. Now, for those of you who don't know who Bill Hicks is, Bill Hicks is a comedian who used to rant and rave on political comedy all the time, this and that, yada, 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 yada. He died of cancer in uh, 1995. Ironically, though, at the time he died in cancer, they're saying that Ted Turner was pushing the NWO agenda, agenda on WCW, which he did own at the time, which was the New World Order Senate event. At the same time, after Bill Hicks supposedly died, Alex Jones comes out with all this money, all this stuff, all this stuff, and he has this against the New World Order. You know, another one for you all. Um, Alex Jones is dead. Apparently, he's uh, he died a long time ago. The Alex Jones that you see from the 1990s is way different from the Alex Jones now. Apparently, on his Wikipedia page, it says, Actor slash radio host. Now, we don't believe that either. We don't believe any one of those, so don't worry about that, everybody. That's not the story that we're saving for you all. The story we're saving for you all is actually a pretty good one, pretty much based in a a large sum of reality. Many of the articles which we will be citing for you are actually from alt-right websites that actually hated Mr. Jones forever, so they kind of buried him in their own right here. So uh, we thank you for that, for helping us there. But um, that's going to be all for the Minutemen now. Um, this is going to be uh, C.T. Rob signing off. Catch you guys next week. Uh, C.T. Steve. We'll see, we'll see you guys on that that episode. But, uh, hey, if you got any any questions, if you don't like us, you hate us, you want to tell us we're fucking fags, whatever, <laughs> go to our, hey, tell us it. We want to hear from you either way on the Twitter. I don't like that word, okay? Uh, yeah, well, okay. I don't like that word. You got to be PC here, okay? We're, we're PC. P- we're PC. Uh, yeah, we are now 2017, calling it right now. Beyond Classified PC. No, no, Beyond, Beyond Classified is dead. We are no longer Beyond Classified. We are the Minutemen now. So, just letting everyone know that. Beyond Classified will now be a segment of the show for the conspiracy theories, but we will be, the Minutemen will be the new podcast. We even got powdered wigs. Yes, we got powdered wigs. Well, except for Ducky's his is powdered. Blue. blue. Yes, it is. Blue. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, the color of Gatorade Frost. <laughs> we will also be doing the podcast in these tones from now on. Is it going to be the conspiracy that uh, C.T. Rob is Alex Jones himself? I might be. Uh, I might be the. I might be Alex Jones' illegitimate son. The Mexican version of him. The Mexican version of him. Daddy, why are you lying, everybody? <laughs> Um, no, but for real, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys have a wonderful evening. And catch you later from the Minutemen.